Okay, <laughs> so uh, we'll see where we go with this. This this may be a pretty a pretty short one, but uh, I just knew I, I had to express here, um, especially after which has happened, and I knew I was going to like really like feel this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, uh, Melissa Genevieve Lucy. Um, I just just recently uh, found these goddesses, sisters, and uh, it's one of those things where it's like. How the fuck did I not <laughs> like know you like from so long ago? I mean, I did, but like connect. Listening to these three talk, it, it did something uh, inside of me. So I'm gonna try to try to talk without without fucking just bawling my eyes out again. Cause, Cause that's what happened. Um, wow, such a powerful. It was just it's well beyond the words. Uh, this 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 stuff is happening. It's happening, <laughs> people. Um, it goes straight into the feelings, and whenever you can look really look into these people's eyes and, and see like how they're connecting how they're what they're feeling behind the words um what the the gnosis like you can <laughs> you can experience the gnosis for yourself and uh This was fucking crazy powerful. This uh, helped me have a, not just a release, but like a, a relief. Um, that, <laughs> that you guys exist basically. And these are the three, the, these are three of the most beautiful goddesses I've ever seen, first and foremost. Um, just, just looking into their, into their eyes. Like, oh my god. And then this also, like, Im immediately brought back my my dream that I just had um, with uh, I know, once again uh, the, the triune three of us were there and it was very and uh, the, the vibes of the dream had to do with time, had to do with uh, positioning ourselves, uh, repositioning ourselves uh, within time to uh, <laughs> to be able to commune within this triune. To have a uh, certain effect to uh, continue the snowball effect that's happening. I'm gonna play some of this here and I'll leave links below and I have a card I will draw at the end and uh, hopefully I don't start bawling again. <laughs> but uh, if I do so be it because this is this is fucking deep. And, uh, oh my god, it, it pulled so hard at me. Um.
messages all together and the things that will come out is what we've been waiting for for a long time. Um, the missing pieces of our puzzle. We are Trinity. Within our Trinity are many more Trinities. And it's just so... I'm so happy. And we're here. I'm so Hello. proud of you. Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> Such a, such a profound manifestation of what's happening, like on the, in the fucking heart of humanity. It's, it's uh, the people have who have felt so deeply for so long and are finally being able to share and connect on on this deep, deep level of uh, understanding. And I'm right along uh, with with what she just said, and it's it's. I don't really understand necessarily, and I don't care to. I I just care to flow with it, because I know it fucking feels good. It feels right, and it feels like it's time. This sharing and flowering and blossoming is happening. It's time, and there you always have shown yourself because you shared your gifts like freely and then, like so long that you know it's like I tell people sometimes. Comments. I was like, I'm like, my, I'm like so late to arrive to the tea party. These channels existed for so long, yet I finally found them yesterday. Your last. Dream and vision. Those have been amping up and becoming more and more uh, interconnected and it's uh, getting to the point where my dreams, like they're, they're very, uh, they're shared, <laughs> they're shared visions. Uh, I don't necessarily feel like it's just my dream anymore. I feel like I'm having a dream with other people's dreams. And we are uh, sharing and learning and communing together on so many levels. That says it all right there. <laughs> Awakening to, to what's inside of us and remembering all the little pieces that were left behind or left forgotten. Reconnecting, recollecting, 
remembering each other. Weak. And it was meant to be that way. Because my son has been my greatest teacher ever, I have to say. Because my awakening began with them being a baby. Lily Rose came to me in a way that I just didn't, you know, at 39, and yeah. didn't think I was going to have another child, and she was definitely brought so I would hang on. She yeah. had to teach me what I needed to know to hang on. But she's herself. She doesn't get told what to do. I think she's a free, she's a free bird. <laughs> yeah, mine, mine too. He, he knows what it's better for him. So I just make sure he um, he's provided yes. with with the basics yes. and the rest. It's it's all his work. So these uh, goddesses here, they have children who they recognize are. This is this is what I've been saying with the children people like <laughs> and these. These beautiful people here are just, oh my gosh. Saying what I've been saying and that the, the children are our teachers and whenever we allow them to be who they truly are and not subject the, the fucking bullshit scripts and the mind control onto them, they will be our greatest teachers and show us how to just fucking be again. How to be a human. How to engage that child again. How to hone in on this. Rose was true, she fell out of her crib. And after she stopped crying, I was like, you fell out of your crib, are you going to do that again? Like, <laughs> if I get to a bed? And she said, I didn't fall, I tried to fly. Of course I won't do that again. Wow. Mind he, um, he has this sense of, um, of being in the, in, the, in the present, in the moment, in the place he is, and he's very um, empathic and we can read everybody's minds, <laughs> like, like he can see through people, and also he has this sense of of danger, or he knows when he has to leave a place, or you know, guidance. He's very yeah. self sufficient in that in that uh, aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my son's very sensitive, really sensitive, and he um. He's so giving. He just gives. And when he was born, no one believes me. He never cried. He's never. He does. He does now, but he never cried. The children don't cry unless there's a reason. Really? Yeah. Just don't. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why, like, me not vaccinating or not giving, not listening to what we're supposed to do, yeah. means yeah. that they don't. Yeah. Because with my first children, yeah, and with Matrix Mom, and yeah. even if I cry. To my husband, I don't want to go vaccinate the baby. Yeah. I don't want to go, but I did because I had to. Yeah. But the pain and like all those chemicals in my daughter, like she cried for a full fucking year. Guys, just the, the, the mere um action of introducing a needle into a little baby's arm or butt. What is that? I mean, it's so violent. It's a direct violation um, on into the natural world. And it's immediate. That's why they want it done so soon. So that that trauma sits there and, and is there with, with the being. And then it's just traumas upon traumas upon traumas that are not, never dealt with. 
And so this is just the layer upon layer that is built up and ignored. And so whenever people finally get into deep level healing, they have to crack all these layers again. And, and it's a fucking process. And it's not easy. A lot of times it's too much. So it should be no wonder why people decide that they can't handle it or, or decide to take certain avenues of escape via whatever. They attacked the child because they, they, right, who, who, who is this they? Uh, the system that, that has been set up, they, the design has been set up to attack the child's mind because this, the childlike mind state is the greatest fucking uh, gift and access point that we have to have a child's like mind state and to, ha and to have the um, ability to, to perceive things as fresh and new in every single moment to perceive the moment in every moment that is what's being attacked and raped and pillaged and salvaged into some kind of monstrosity of a system Ha 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 ha. And then goes right back into the grander picture. We've gone through this for a fucking reason. We're going through this shit for a fucking reason. What happens every time we come out of a cycle, we, we go back into a fucking cycle, we, we refine, we transmute, we realize that what we didn't see before, we learn. From those mistakes, but but whenever we're hijacked into uh, being taught not to remember and not to learn from those mistakes that's when it's a uh, um, a true uh, death spiral and just a dead end path and so the, uh, the flowering has happened within this dead end path that we have been on and the uh, the vine, the stem, has, has made its way up through the cracks and crevices of the corruption, of the bullshit, of the concrete that has been placed on top of the fertile soil. And now the flowering has happened. As the breakthrough of the concrete and the dense crap Our hearts have flowered and the pollens have been spread. And here is yet another manifestation of this. Trinity.
and the sacred feminine speaking on clarity and purity. Whew, okay. Fuck me. So, so let's see what we have with this card here. How awesome. <laughs> I'm off the page. I find it. Yes. The butterfly. Triple X's. Keywords, soulfulness, transformation, changes. From China to Maori, from Ireland to Greece. God damn. The butterfly is a symbol for the immortal soul released from its human cocoon. Many traditions hold that the spirit leaves the body in death in the form of a butterfly or moth. The Greek word for both butterfly and soul is Psyche. Psyche was also the name given to a girl who won the heart of Cupid, the god of love in a Greek myth. The goddess Aphrodite, jealous of mortal Psyche's beauty, sent her son Cupid to punish her. But Cupid fell in love with Psyche and secretly married her. Aphrodite, Cupid's mother, made Psyche perform a series of tasks to perform herself worthy. With a little divine help, the girl completed them all and was united with Cupid and was rewarded with immortality. Just as Psyche did, the butterfly card suggests that we can transform ourselves if we are willing to put in the work. It also suggests a new awareness of the immortal soul we all possess. Yeah, and uh, it's putting in the work and doing doing your inner work, as I say, and uh, also releasing back into the flow because. Uh, Nature just does its thing. The, the the caterpillar just does its thing in the transformation. It doesn't necessarily think about it. It doesn't have to think about anything or think about putting in work, you know. Uh, it just allows, it releases into the flow. And whenever it's time, it's time. So that's when it begins the process of transformation and transmutation of what it was into something new, a flowering and a new birth. Into the flight, into the phoenix flight and into the freedom. From just having one perspective into a new perspective, a grander perspective and a unification, a greater clarity because of the dissolving that has happened within 
we regain and reclaim our wings and we fly together we ride this bitch out together one by one we are coming together and reuniting and feeling back into the healing So yeah, I'll share a link with, with <laughs> for these three goddesses, and uh, y'all y'all need to check this shit out. Deep, deep love and gnosis and awareness of being part of this process and connecting with people who are doing the same. It's, it's some magical shit. <laughs> Peace out.